Hello everyone, Amanda Williams, MD, MPH, here with you today, and I want to talk to you about one of my favorite supplements. I know I say this a lot because I have so many favorite supplements, but, but when it comes down to things that are very comprehensive, there's one particular supplement that I really, really like for so many reasons, and that is bromelain. Now, what is bromelain? This is this really unique enzyme that is actually extracted from pineapple. So it's coming from nature, it's coming from an actual fruit. And this proteolytic enzyme does so much for our overall health. So something from nature, beneficial for the whole body. Now when it comes to the science behind bromelain, this is where it gets really, really interesting. So oftentimes when people think about bromelain, you may think about it as support for digestion. And that's a wonderful way to utilize bromelain. So say, for example, you go out and you have a really heavy meal. Um, maybe you go to a restaurant and it's, you know, just a protein heavy meal that perhaps you're, you're not as accustomed to eating on a daily basis. So having bromelain on hand can be very, very beneficial to aid in the digestion of that protein because it works as a protease. So, so when we talk about the the way that proteins are actually degraded and the proteolytic properties to bromelain really help to enhance that digestion of that protein. So that's one way that you would utilize it. So you would take that with food or perhaps just before you eat. Now, where it gets really interesting is when we are utilizing bromelain for its other proteolytic properties. And that is for targeting things like inflammation in the body. And we know that bromelain has become so widely used, even in traditional medicine now, and you may not hear about it, but there are a lot of doctors out there that are advising and recommending that their patients actually utilize bromelain when it comes to things like wound healing after dental procedures. For example, plastic surgeons seem to be really big advocates when it comes to the utilization of bromelain because it can help to speed that healing process along because it's targeting very acute levels of inflammation and it also helps the body with that natural wound healing ability. So it's really quite interesting. Now, when we look beyond that, then we can start to look at how it's working specifically when it comes to inflammation. We know that it's targeting different inflammatory pathways in the body. And one of those that we know it targets is NF-kappa-beta. Now this is the master driver or regulator for inflammation. When NF-kappa-beta is really going forward, we know we're gonna have a lot of inflammation, which is not a good thing. So we know that the bromelain can actually help with the down-regulating of NF-kappa-beta, kind of like helps turn that switch off. So we ease inflammation in that setting. So for people who have maybe a sprain or a strain and they add in some bromelain into their routine, this can be really, really helpful in terms of that healing property. It has been studied across the spectrum. When we look at cardiovascular disease, for example, um, they have found that bromelain to be very, very helpful in certain cardiovascular events. So this is another reason as to why someone maybe would be interested in utilizing bromelain. Now, UConn, they did a study that was actually published in the um, Cell Immuno Journal. And in that study, what they found was that the bromelain, when they gave it to people who had um, allergic rhinitis and different seasonal allergies, which allowed for the sinuses to get all congested, that when they gave them bromelain, this really helped to kind of open up those airways. And I thought, well, isn't that interesting? So they were looking at how it was targeting even the, the different T lymphocytes. So really the, the properties by which bromelain goes into the body and works at this really intricate level is quite impressive, which is why I always find it to be just such a, a great supplement to have on hand because no one knows when you're gonna have the you know problem with maybe you step off of a sidewalk wrong and you twist your ankle a little bit. And the next thing you know, your ankle's real sore, maybe it gets swollen. Having some bromelain on hand could be very helpful. Maybe you have a really heavy meal and you're like, oh gosh, I feel really kind of full and bloated. Having some bromelain on hand can be very, very beneficial. So there's all these different ways that we can utilize bromelain. When we look at bromelain and the way that it targets inflammation, it is 
so powerful that they have actually studied it versus diclofenac. Now diclofenac happens to be a very powerful NSAID, which is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. So it would be a prescription, um, not like an over-the-counter, like a ibuprofen or something like this. Di diclofenac is actually going to be for a doctor to prescribe you, but it still falls into that category of an NSAID. And what they did is they did a head-to-head -head study and they took people who had osteoarthritis of the knee, because that's obviously going to be the most common area that people complain about arthritic joints is usually in the knee. And so they gave them diclofenac or they gave them bromelain. And they did this for six weeks. And at the end of their trial, what they were able to determine, and this wasn't just some random trial, this was actually the findings were published in the Journal of Clinical Rheumatology. So this is big information. And they found that the group that was given bromelain did just as well, just as well in terms of their perception of pain, as well as easing up the inflammation within the joint, within that knee. But what was really interesting was that the group that was given bromelain didn't have any of the side effects that go along with the NSAIDs. And we know that we have to be very careful when using NSAIDs on a continuous, regular basis for pain and inflammation because we know that that can start to have an impact on potentially kidney function as well as liver function depending upon what type of an NSAID one would be using. So you take something that comes from a pineapple you extract out this, it's actually from the stem of the pineapple, and you extract out this enzyme, and voila, we have this powerful proteolytic enzyme that goes through, I always kind of describe it like Pac-Man. If you go back to the, like old school and you think of an arcade game, most people know Pac-Man. Even if you're younger and you grew up with much more high-tech uh, arcade games, then maybe you don't even know what an arcade game is. But at the end of the day, most people know what Pac-Man is. And I always say Pac-Man went through and it kind of ate up all those little dots. This is what bromelain is really, really beneficial in doing. It can go through and it targets all of this low level of inflammation. So if we have inflammation in the sinuses, inflammation because we sprained our ankle, we have inflammation maybe throughout the system, in the heart, different areas, blood vessels. It is always advantageous that we take care of that inflammation and we target that inflammation. And we know because bromelain can hit that NF kappa beta. And it also is helping to regulate with those T lymphocytes that we're getting a lot of promotional benefit when it comes to easing up that inflammation. So that's a great thing. Plus we get that added benefit of it having this dual function of aiding in digestion. So I certainly encourage you to go to our website, Invite Health dot com and check it out. Like I said, it's something that I always encourage people, even if you're not taking it every single day, this is one of those supplements where it's incredibly handy to always have like just on your shelf because you just never know. And I, I tell all of my friends, all my family members, make sure that you always have some bromelain on hand because you can use it for so many different purposes and it really promotes so much for your overall wellness and it has powerful antioxidants in it as well so we are also targeting free radicals so anytime we can target free radicals ease inflammation support digestion support the cardiovascular system we know we are doing something right so i will be back with you in a few more days to talk about some more wonderful formulations brought to you by invite health thank you